John Arnold, Watch Manor, 1773, Captain Phipps made a voyage to the North Pole, taking with him not only its Arnold Pocket Timekeeper and an Arnold Box Timekeeper in Jimbles, but also Kendall's K2 Timekeeper. For technical reasons, the temperature compensation for the balance spring had to somehow be incorporated into the balance itself and not act on the balance spring directly as had been done previously by Arnold and others. As Arnold stated rather succinctly in a 1782 letter to the Board of Longitude, the power in all parts of the spring is uniform. The fact that Arnold had recognized the technical advantages of a balance spring of this form clearly demonstrates a high degree of insight. Arnold appears to have given Brigitte Carte Blanche to incorporate or develop any of Arnold's inventions and techniques into his own watches. Arnold's pattern first appeared in 1783, on the enamel dials Arnold designed for his small chronometers, and the proportions and layout of their figuring is identical to that of the classic Brigitte type engine turned metal dials which appeared around 1800, and which were quite unlike anything else made in France or Switzerland at the time. As a tribute to his friend Arnold Sr., he incorporated his first turbillion mechanism into one of Arnold's early pocket chronometers, Arnold No. 11. An engraved commemorative inscription on this watch reads, the first turbillion timekeeper by Brigitte incorporated into one of the first works of Arnold. Brigitte's homage to the revered memory of Arnold, given to his son A.D. 1808. This important and significant watch is now in the British Museum's collection of clocks and watches. Arnold's son John Roger Arnold was born in 1769 and served an apprenticeship with both his father and the eminent French watchmaker Abraham Louis Brigitte, F042 F3118 F14.